I think we've seen how important it was that the uh, Canadian Armed Forces be able to step up uh, during this during this pandemic, uh, whether it was for the uh, long-term care uh, situations in, in Quebec and Ontario, uh, or whether it's now on, actually not just now, but over the past number of months building up on the logistics necessary for a vaccine delivery, there were some really big operational issues uh, that were had. And um, one of the things that uh, Chief Jonathan Vance has been very, very strong at is operations. Uh, and we felt uh, that as we were entering this pandemic um, and were reflecting on the, the, the timelines that were there, uh, that it was time for a change, we said, let's, uh, let's get through this pandemic a little bit more. And that's, that's certainly what we've been uh, what we've focused on. But we're expecting uh, that change to happen soon. What are you looking for in his successor? Someone who brings, uh, obviously, uh, significant operational and strategic skills, uh, but someone who will uh, be very much focused on the uh, institutional transformations that are necessary, whether it's uh, fighting systemic discrimination in, um, in the institution, as there are in so many institutions across the country, uh, whether it's creating a more inclusive uh, Canadian Armed Forces, uh, where there is uh, less concerning and troubling reports of uh, extremism um, that continue to bounce up every now and then from individuals who do not represent, who do not speak for uh, the Canadian Armed Forces, who are um, extraordinary in their commitment and service, not just to their country, but to their fellow Canadians. Um, there's work to do to improve and to um, make that um, organization better, reflect and exemplify the values and ambitions of Canadians for a, a fairer country.